that's one of the things I see on Facebook most often is friends asking for like, do you know a good family doctor and where can I find one? I'm lucky because I was able to get a doctor years ago. It seems like something that people don't really have anymore. I do know lots of people who don't have a doctor. They just go to walking clinics. Could technology help close the gap between patients and family doctors in B.C.? There are 700,000 British Columbians who don't have a family doctor, and of them, 300,000 are actively trying to find one. Meanwhile, over the last five years, the B.C. Walking Clinic Association says 50 clinics across the province have shut down. We, yes, we do need to train. We do need to recruit more doctors in, in British Columbia. On Friday, the organization held a conference to discuss the issues like the pay gap for family doctors. BC has, is one of the lowest and average paying their family doctors in Canada. The way it works is your GP only gets paid when they actually see you. They don't get anything for any of the paperwork or administration mandated by the province. The only way they make more money is to see more patients. But McLaughlin says docs are being weighed down by an antiquated system, and that's where a digital solution comes into play. Then that will help reduce their workload, which means they can take on more patients. And so if they're getting better paid, there will be more doctors coming to work in BC and more capacity for each of those doctors. There's like likely too much bureaucratic red tape to do anything effectively. Uh, I don't have a lot of confidence in governments making changes fast. My doctor is great. I just think he's fantastic and I hope he doesn't retire. <laughs> in Vancouver, David Zura, City News.